So, actually, so what is the five dollar rocket challenge? That's a, great That's a question. Excellent That's a great question. question. Really good, job, good question. Viewers. Great work on that. Yeah. Let's go to Luke. Who will tell us. <laughs> so the five dollar rocket challenge. Basically, we get five dollars. We can go to the dollar store and buy all the parts we need for our homemade rockets. That excludes parts for like hot glue, duct tape, the launch device, and these SDD motors. Um, other than that, we get five dollars, about an hour to build, uh, just to make the best rockets we can. Yeah, the competition is just can your rockets survive, basically. Yeah. yeah. And if they if they all survive, then it's like whose goes the highest or has the best flight? Because if they all survive, then we all win. That's lame. So. Strap it to the back of that guy. <laughs> Why paper one clips? Minute. One, two, three, four. Are you in four? Five things or four? Four. Four. Because it's standing up. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you have a confession to make? In the interest of safety, I had to spend one more, or I spent, so I bought five things, but there's tax. So I ended up having to spend five dollars and fifty cents. But that's because I'm being extra safe. So I think yeah, it's fine. I had that same problem. Came up with a new rule though. If you go over five dollars, you have to strap how much you went over in coins to your rocket and fly it. So you guys both so have that's the fifty oh. cents. Two quarters. We both have fifty cents. You're gonna have strapped to your rocket. Strapped to my rocket. It's not that much. It's strategically placed. I, however, abided by the rules and accounted for tax. Oh, and so I do pants. not have to strap anything to the rocket. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically it was five dollars, right? We bought five one dollar things, but. Tax got us. Tax got us. Well, if you live somewhere without tax, then you're lucky. You get five things. You're lucky. And that can make a world of difference. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of got the best find of the day. Um, some Fortnite uh, cards. That is an epic victory royale. <laughs> Trading cards, to be big What do you plan to use them for? Uh, they're gonna be my fins. Uh, <clears throat> it's a shame to cut these up, but it's gonna have to happen, unfortunately. So I got this, this vinyl. I don't know what this is. It's got a cardboard tube in it. Oh, that's gonna be on body tube. Uh, I got some paper clips and some rulers. You'll see what I'm doing with this later. Going for a little bit different approach on my recovery system. Got some pencil. That's also part of my recovery system. Uh, and then some foam in the back, which will make my fins, my nose cone, and all that. So pretty simple, but. tube and also a delicious snack not sponsored by Pringles other snacks are available we'll cut this off glue it to that so that this can slide off when the uh, when the charge from this goes off so that you know it's gonna pop right off and we'll have some wadding in there our parachute and we'll be good to go and you know of course I got the Fortnite cards coming in clutch down below our recovery system is actually going to be passively deployed uh, helicopter rotor on the way down. <laughs> um. Not sponsored by Fortnite. Pringles cam body. Okay. Um, yeah. As you can see, this is my nose cone section. And this is the passive fit. So you just kind of push it in there. She's in there pretty good. And then when the ejection charge goes, pop. Best part so far. Are you saying, so you're saying my rocket is the best part so far. Mm. <laughs> so you want a plastic ruler, well two plastic rulers, and a plastic pencil. To, to fold to create up. create a propeller. To create a propeller. So you need a hinge system a hinge that system also allows rotation rotates. vertically. Out of uh, pencils, paper clips, and foam. I don't like your odds. I got them. I love them. Luke is heat bending. It's like that. Oh, heat That's pretty oh. good, actually. That's fire. So we're using uh, 
a nice tool of the trade um, if you've ever flown rockets before. Hopefully you've used this. If not, you definitely should. It's called Open Rocket. And basically it like simulates everything so it accounts for like the PDEs and everything that go into like a rocket, you know, so like accounting for like the loss of propellant mass. So we're gonna recreate my rocket inside of Open Rocket. He's planned all this out. Got it all planned. In his little... We did use Open Rocket <laughs> to figure out the dimensions for our, uh, for our fin there. Yeah. So now we know what to do. Yeah, I was just copying. Yeah, I'm just copying that. Copying the design. I'm putting them on like that. Wow. Um, I had to make really big fins on the old Pringles can um, to help keep my center pressure way down to the bottom. But uh, hopefully she'll fly. She's looking pretty good, so I got faith. Yeah. Ignore how off-centered the motor is in the bottom, that's fine. That It's it's supposed to do... <laughs> so when you see it doing sort of a nice 30 degree pitch over, that's a that's planned. Plan. Yeah. That was a planned pitch over, that's just because it matches our launch azimuth, so you know. <laughs> so, this is the Raptor. Beautiful double fin design. We have Fortnite. the Fortnite fins. We have the second half of the cards up here. Uh, we have the beautiful party hat nose cone. Down. I might just take oh, all the top ones off. Too, <laughs> well, that's tough for me. Um, oh, no he's tape. losing fins by the minute. Okay, that's all right. These ones aren't going to come off by now because I also taped them on. All right. You know, all right. my rocket. I'm going to leave it nameless. Nameless. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I'm a little, I'm a little bit worried about this one. Uh, I think our center of pressure might be a bit high. Uh, plus, yeah, yeah, I mean, so these, ideally, right, this is gonna fly straight up, and then as it falls, boom, flaps open. This begins to spin, and we have a and nice, nice slow dry. descent, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll find not out. Not sure, after building this, I mean, there's, a, there's quite a bit of wobble in there. You know, I am now, we had an hour. Sorry, I'm now realizing that this isn't waterproof, so let's get going. <laughs> So we're going to do rock, paper, scissors, odd man out, flies first. Ready? Right. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. What? Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time he's done that today. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm the odd man out. Odd man out, he's first. Okay, we're going first. All right. You guys probably should have gotten safety goggles too. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoot! Come on! No, it's out. It's just not catching air. Hey, that's actually not, that's actually okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. All right, the shoot. Oh, that is deep. Ready for this? Yeah, pull it out. It's like that had some like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I got caught on the corner. <laughs> oh, also, all of them just totally tore off. <laughs> all right. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. You're up. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my. Oh my. It is done. <laughs> that is buried, bro. Well, there's your nose. <laughs> there's your crunch zone. Yeah, so I guess it didn't didn't have direct to open up. It's not gonna work. Your rock's gonna tip it over. over. It's gonna arch it's over, much. and then you're just gonna nose dive from the ground. Two, one. <laughs> one. So when you see it doing sort of a nice thirty degree pitch over. That's a That's planned. Plan. Yeah. That was a planned pitch over. And we're back. How do you guys think we did? Well, uh, I did great. <laughs> Me, not so much. No. Yeah, so both of ours flew fairly well. It did. As I say, flew. the up part. The up part. Mine flew well. You did fly well. Yeah, just it almost, at a it really almost killed sharp me. angle. <laughs> it actually almost killed I, me. Actually, that was actually the goal of mine. <laughs> this whole time I've been plotting. We kind of, you know, throughout the video, we've described all of the rules and sort of things that you need to do this challenge. And so we open it up to everyone else to challenge us, see if you can do better than ours, see if yeah. you can actually get successful shoot deployment. You have $5 
That's all you have. One hour. And one build. hour to build. Yep. And you, obviously the D motor and hot glue and duct tape are included. Yeah, we'll put everything in the, in the description of the video. We'll get a full list of everything, yeah. Yeah, fun little but challenge. Yeah, we'll challenge anyone else, any other YouTubers. The video was pretty different from our normal videos. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a break from doing thrust vectoring videos. They're kind of tiring to do. It's getting a little repetitive, I'd say. We yeah. got a lot of the, a lot of similar videos in a row. It's a different type of content, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And you know, we'll do a couple more videos like this down the road, and just like keep changing it up. We just do yeah. whatever we find interesting, really. Yeah. And it's good to have share. a variety of videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not the same thing every time. Yeah. Of course, we will continue with oh, the yeah. thrust vectoring stuff. Don't worry, that's not going anywhere. All right. So don't don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Orion Aerospace on Twitter at Aerospace Orion. Yep. Uh, our Gmail is. Orion Aerospace. Dot dot lift off at at gmail.com. Gmail dot com. Feel free um, to get in touch. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yep. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Oh yeah. Q. <clears throat> Patreon. Rockets out.